Hi, I'm Eric Shaw, and welcome to the Big Happy Day Yoga video series. Today I want to talk about prasanna yoga. Prasanna is a very simple word, and it means just to throw. And um, this system of yoga, what makes it different and perhaps um, useful in a unique way in the field of um, different yoga options that we have now, is that it attempts to um, gift to practitioners a new understanding of samadhi. So samadhi is this concept that we draw from the Yoga Sutras and some other traditions that points to a state of perfect concentration. And in this practice, perfect concentration is attained through a um, coming together of the sense of how the body moves its spa in space and space itself. So vinyasa yoga, the moving yoga that is practiced in most yoga studios today, is kind of limited in its purview. It works with the stops, the poses that we come from, and it, it attempts to arrange those stops in a way that is useful for people and transformative for people. But it doesn't focus on what happens in between the stops, what happens in the throw, in the carry through of momentum and concentration which happens from one pose to the next. So what's unique about prasanna yoga is it codifies the ways in which we create geometries with the body, the ways in which we manage momentum as we move from spot to spot, the way that we create forms for concentration so that we don't break our thought patterns when we're moving through a vinyasa sequence. Because at the end of the day, we don't stand still much. We rarely ever stand still. We're always moving. So if the mind is agitated by movement, and this is actually one thing that Iyengar talks about when he created a static yoga, a yoga that doesn't move, is he felt that the mind was too agitated by movement so that you had to sit a person still if you were going to develop their consciousness. But we're not going to sit still naturally, right? So if you're going to give people a gift, a gift of yoga understanding, and it's going to come through the body, and it's going to come through how we work with the, with the body at the physical level in its, in its, in its athletic capacities, in some ways, it's more advantageous to work with movement. How do we move? How do we learn to work with the distribution of weight? How do we learn to work with the distribution of balance? And can we codify that in a system that is highly yogic, that teaches us to move like a yogi? So in future videos, I'll talk a little bit about that system, how we break it down, what are some of the basic forms of uh, approach to yogic movement. Uh, but I just want to give you a philosophical sketch of um, how we might approach that topic. Blessings on your day. I'm Eric Shaw.